I'm in Hollyhead right now and it's going to be limited uh, narration because it's quite it's quite breezy here but I'm, the reason I stopped here was to uh, see the Roman fort that's the uh, well I can't pronounce it St. St. Sybil's Church it's another one of those breezy days and Hollyhead is uh, well, it's probably seen better times, but uh, it's it's gonna, it's the port. It's the main port from the UK to Ireland, I think. Okay, so there's some information on the how the fort originally looked, the Roman fort, fourth century AD. Once a mighty Roman fort of the Ro mighty Roman Empire. So these are the walls, supposedly. The it's a the Roman walls, this is all it is, a free, there's free walls that exists. More information. Okay, back to the car. There's the church again. The, uh, the Roman walls is free of free three sides. They uh, form an enclosure for the churchyard. Okay, this is the lower churchyard. You can see just the top of the church over there. It's, I don't know if you can hear me because... Uh, and there's a kind of like a circular tower. Uh, still existing or the ruins of one. Okay, I'm in Holly. Holly, uh, Holy Island or Hollyhead Mountain. Um, this is the car park for the hut circles, but it, you can see it's pretty well full up. Very, very popular here. Car park uh, for Elliot's Tower. An Iron Age, 2,500 year old Iron Age settlement, hot circles. I can't see the viewfinder at all because of the sun shining directly on it. But that's, uh... Now these uh, hot circles are supposed to be some of the best preserved hot circles uh, in Wales, if not in the UK. Here's one right here. Of course they've been excavated. Here's a well-trodden path here, so there must be more, more, more of these hot circles. over a quarter of a mile since I further saw the first hot circle and uh, the, foot, uh, the trodden footpath continues a bit further. I think there's 20 of these uh, excavated uh, like this, 20 hot circles like this excavated. The trodden footpath continues even further. Holly Head and Bountain up there, the summit. Okay, uh, I think uh, I'll head back to the car park now, but uh, this is, if you're interested in hot circles, yes, this is the place to come. You can see there were quite substantial uh, houses in that time. And they were occupied, 
Uh, this village was occupied during when the Romans were here. There's the car park down there. But uh, this, this uh, hot circle has got quite an elaborate entrance to it. Okay, so it, there's no information on what, what the features, uh, the surviving features of these circle, circles are. This looks like the, the largest hut circle, if it was a hut. Uh, our house that was here might have belonged to the, chi the chief, the chieftain's house. Uh, yeah, it's good size. Okay, I'm back in the car park, and uh, I'm going to Ellen's Tower now. Somewhere right down here. I've yeah, come about maybe 300 yards down from the car park, and uh, this, this is. Yeah, the spectacular uh, uh, cliffs on the uh, coast here, at Hollyhead Island. And I think this is popular with rock climbers as well. Uh, uh, this uh, this area, excellent, excellent climbing cliffs. There's. Uh, Focus in on it, Ellen, Ellen, Ellen's Tower over there. Yeah, spectacular, really. No need to go to Cornwall. Uh, looks like a lifeboat down there. I can't, I can't really focus in on it because uh, the viewfinder is completely uh, like, well, blocked out by the sun. Don't, uh, don't stray too near the edge. It's a vertical drop down there. Uh, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. coming here. This is about 55 miles away from where I live. That's the rock climbers tackle there, so down there somewhere there might be some rock climb, well, <laughs> they might, might have just finished a rock climb. Well, I won't go any, my balance isn't too good, so I won't get any closer. Ellen's Tower is quite a, quite a substantial building. Unfortunately it's closed as usual, because of the situation it's difficult to keep, it's a popular place to visit, so it's difficult to keep, uh, built in uh, 1868 by Ellen, wife of the Honourable Owen Stanley, MP of Penrose. May all visit this place bless her memory. That's the famous South Stack Lighthouse. Constructed uh, coastal path here. There's the tower. Now, 
I, uh, I forgot my sun hat today. We, uh, and of all days, this is the day I actually needed it. <laughs> yeah, oh well. There's another view of the lighthouse. You can see how popular it is here. This tarmac road, I think, goes to the uh, little car park for the lighthouse. 1949 Royal Enfield. That's uh, an Ordnance Survey map of uh, the Holy Island and South Stack down there, which is closed, of course, at the moment. The lighthouse is closed. But I'll walk down a little way just to get a closer view. See, no one's wearing masks except me. I don't think there's much point in me going down any further. Uh, it's um, if it's closed, I don't think you can get across. You can't go up to the lighthouse, so you can only go down to the bottom here, then climb all the way back up. But there's an example of one of those uh, ferries crossing over to uh, Dublin in Ireland. Again, I'm just guessing where it is. Puff uh, seems to have uh, deteriorated into a, a kind of like a, a mountain footpath. Ollie Head Mountain is ahead, uh, quite some distance. So, uh, okay. Summit, somewhere up there. Now, I, uh, I haven't been on this path before, but it's, I'm impressed with it. It's, uh, this is some kind of a hidden amph amphitheater here. And those rocks there look, uh, I think I, th I think I can hear some rock climbers on them. Yeah. Yeah, there's several parties of rock climbers. Of course, it's an ideal day. Cloud, cloudless sky. Some more, more climbers over there. Summit obtained. Now, there's the summit, but, um, will this lead roughly back to where I park the car? And can I branch off to the right somewhere? The 
path uh, doesn't seem quite as clear here, so I don't know if I'm going the right direction. It might have been better for me to retrace my steps. These are rock climbing footpaths, so rock climbers footpaths maybe, or people that know the area know shortcuts I don't like. Uh, this looks like it's going to go down pretty steeply here, so there's the trail back, but uh, how do I get to it? And there's a I don't like them at all. Motorbikes around us coming up this way. I don't like them. We plan on this. Well, it's kind of like rock scrambling, but I can see there's the path down there, and no problem. But uh, I've got to scramble down here by the look of it. That's the rock ridge I uh, decided against descending. I couldn't see, you know, it's probably, it was probably okay, but still, uh, more or less those days are over to me. I don't, I'm not, I'm a little bit uh, cautious now about uh, do any, any rock climbing expeditions. So I came down to the, uh, on the right hand side instead. Okay, so which way do I go now? It's kind of rough walking, no actual, well there is a trodden footpath over, over the years, but uh, okay, I'd have been better off uh, retracing the steps from the summit and uh, going back the way I came. Uh, but still, uh, all's well, it ends well, and no problem as far as I can see. Uh, that, that's, yeah, if I can get a shortcut across there, even better. That's rock climbing territory there. I came, I was, <laughs> Kind of like attempting to come down that, uh, that uh, face, basically. And I can see a rock climber there. Yeah, it looks like I'm in good shape now, though. Several, several parties of rock climbers on there. Another one up there. Yeah, so, uh, well, no problem if, if you're okay, you know, your legs and balance are okay. That would have been a nice ridge to descend down. But um, I'm afraid those days are over for me. Actually, I don't feel too bad considering all the uh, work I've done. Quite, uh, this is, I would say, yeah, even though Hollywood Mountain is only about 750 feet above sea level, but um, it's all the ups and downs and uh, rough footpaths. Okay, there's the mighty mountain. It looks quite impressive, even though it's only 750 feet above sea level. But this looks like a a shortcut going directly towards the car park. Up there somewhere you can see the white trick stone and uh, back to civilization here. Uh, yeah, civilization. There's the car park down there. 